I'm here with Dr. Romano to do problems on combinations and permutations for the DAO. Hi, I'm Dr. Romano. I'm a professor of organic chemistry here at Romano Scientific and the creator of the Orgo Man products, as well as the Dr. Destroyer book. One of the hottest areas that I find in the math section is this idea of combinations and permutations. Many students always ask me, could Professor Blois do a few more problems on this? We have a whole bunch in our 2018 Dot Destroyer book, but I want you to look at what we have here. Professor Blois will do some live with you. All right, Professor, if you okay. do the honors. Let's do some problems in combination and permutations. Uh, let's read the first uh, problem here. A piece of paper has eight dots on it. If a pair of dots determines a line, how many different lines can be drawn by connecting pairs of dots? Uh, let's assume that these dots, uh, no three dots are collinear. They're spread out on, a, let's say, a circle. That's one way of arranging the dots. Well, we're taking eight things two at a time. Order doesn't matter, because it doesn't matter from which end you connect the dots, if they're both the same, so order doesn't matter. So we're gonna use the combination formula, N, C, R. The number of ways of choosing R things out of a total of N things when order does not count, and that formula is N factorial over R factorial divided by N minus R factorial. So in this case, we want eight dots, we want to choose two of them. It's eight choose two. So it's eight choose two. This is eight factorial over two factorial times eight minus two factorial, which is six factorial. The two factorials in the denominator always add up to the factorial in the numerator, which is very convenient. So let's figure this out. It's very easy to figure out. This is eight times seven times six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's just write it as six factorial. Why? Because you see in the denominator that we have a six factorial, which conveniently cancels out. So the six factorial cancels out. We're left with uh, two times, seven times eight, or we can cancel the two and the eight, making that four. Four times seven is 28. So there are 28 distinct lines that can be drawn from uh, eight dots on a paper. Okay, now let's look at the next one. A piece of paper has eight dots on it, same thing. Three dots determine a triangle. So how many different triangles can be drawn? And let's assume that no three of these dots are collinear. That is, they lie along the same line, then we really don't have a triangle, and that complicates the problem. So we should say that the three dots are not, uh, no three dots are, are collinear. Well, here we are. That's eight things taken three at a time where order doesn't count. So this is equal to eight factorial over three factorial over eight minus three factorial. So that's gonna be eight factorial over three factorial times five factorial. And as always, the two numbers in the denominator, the two factorials in the denominator add up to the factorial in the numerator. So if we figure this out, this is gonna be eight times seven times six times five factorial. And this is three times two times one times five factorial. Well, you can see a lot of things cancel out here. The five factorials cancel out. Three times two is six, and that cancels out with the six in the numerator. Seven eighths are 56. So it's exactly twice the value of the previous problem. Okay, here we have a related problem, and it's really the same problem, and you should be able to recognize the same type of problem in different contexts. There are eight people on a committee, and how many ways can three of its members be chosen to complete a task? Well, what is that? It's like choosing three things out of eight things when order doesn't count. So the answer to this is eight choose three, a, A choose three is exactly the same as we uh, calculated in the previous problem. So we know there's 56. 56 ways that three members can be chosen for a, uh, a task, a, a sort of a subcommittee. And finally, here we have this. There are eight people on a committee. How many ways can three of its members be chosen to fill the offices of president, vice president, and secretary? Oh, ho. okay, so now order now is going to count. Order is going to be important because we've given assignments. We've assigned the names to each one of the three positions. So it's not going to be the combination formula that we want to use. We want to use the permutation formula, NPR. The number of ways of choosing R things out of a total of N things when order counts. 
order counts here because we have a, a ranking of the things that are chosen. So the formula for this is n factorial divided by n minus r factorial. So in this case, n is equal to 8 and r is equal to 3. So we have 8p3 or 8 factorial over 8 minus 3 or 5 factorial and that gives us what? 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 factorial over 5 factorial. The 5 factorials cancel and we're left with, uh, what do we have here? 7 times 8 is 56 and then that comes out to be 6 times 6 is 36. 6 fives are 30, so that's 336. This can also be done by a simple, uh, what's called license plate counting in some circles. And how many ways can three members be chosen to fill the offices of president, vice president, and secretary? President, vice president, and secretary, right? For the first office, there are eight choices because there are eight people on the committee. One person having been elected president, how many choices are left for the vice president? Seven. And then therefore, there are only uh, six members left. How many uh, members are, are, is it possible to choose for secretary? Six. Eight times seven times six, which is exactly what the permutation formula gives us. It's, it's, a, it's a mathematical expression that gives us this, this license plate type of counting. And the answer is the same, 336. So there are some problems in combinations and one in permutation. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that clip. I personally like the license plate technique. Oh, yeah. That was yeah. really good, really quick. Yeah, yeah. Okay, guys, we will see you in the next video clip. Professor Boyce will be back, and he'll be electrifying you even more with some more greater math. Okay, good day to you. Bye-bye. Okay.